Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at creating strong passwords for your online user accounts. Now, there are a lot of aspects to online password security, and there's too many to go over in one video. So I've created a long post talking about all the different things you should be concerned about when creating a password for one of your online user accounts. You can go and check it out at this web address. But in this video, let's just deal with one aspect of it. That's creating strong passwords. So before explaining what a strong password is, it's important to understand what a weak password is. A weak password would be any word found in the dictionary. These are called dictionary words. So what's wrong with using an obscure word found in the dictionary? Well, what malicious hackers do is they set up botnets that are thousands of computers that every night try millions of IDs and passwords on popular websites. And the passwords they try are usually dictionary words. So if you're using a real word as your password, I can guarantee you that eventually your online account will be compromised. Now other weak passwords include dates. There are only a few different formats for dates and there's only 12 months, 31 days, and 60 or 70 years that could represent any birthday. So if your password is your birthday or your spouse's birthday or a child's birthday, chances are that will be compromised eventually as well. And of course, there are common passwords. For instance, is your password ABC123 or QWERTY? There's a few thousand common password combinations that people use. And if you're using one of these, you're also putting your account at risk. So what's a strong password? Well, strong passwords should follow a few rules. First of all, it should use both letters and numbers in the password. Second, the letters should be both uppercase and lowercase. By combining letters, numbers, upper and lowercase, you've increased the complexity of the password greatly. Now, make sure the password is at least eight characters long and also, most importantly, make sure it's completely random. A random set of letters and numbers is almost impossible to guess. So it'll make your online accounts that much more secure. One way for Mac users to easily create random passwords is to use the password assistant built in a Mac OS X. Now getting to it's a little tricky because it's not a standalone application. But you can go to System Preferences and in System Preferences, click on Accounts. Once you're in your accounts, you can click on the big change password button. This will bring up this changing password dialog. Now, we're not going to change our user account password here. What we'll do is click on this little key icon and that will bring up the password assistant which will allow us to create passwords that we could use elsewhere. So to use password assistant, first change the type of password to letters and numbers. Then change the length to what you want. Let's just do a simple eight character password. Then here under suggestion, you'll get a suggestion that you can copy and paste. You can also click on the pop-up button on the right and see a whole list of suggestions. You can choose any one you want and copy it and then paste it into the password field of your web page. You can get all sorts of passwords here. You can choose more suggestions to generate another list of suggested passwords. So it's important to use these strong passwords on your online accounts, including anything like Facebook, Twitter, Amazon.com, all that. And most importantly, make sure you have a strong password on your email account. If your email account is compromised, then all of your accounts are compromised because usually you can go to one of these accounts and say, I forgot my password, email it to me, and you'll get it in an email. So if somebody has your email account password, they can basically get access to all of your online accounts. I highly encourage you to go and check out the long post I wrote about online password security. Every day, thousands of social media, shopping, email, and other online accounts are compromised. Don't let yours be one of them. You can check out all the suggestions I've got. You can even use some third-party utilities like the highly recommended 1Password application to make sure you have unique passwords for all your online accounts. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.